We used to say at EWG that we're driven by facts, not emotion, but sometimes the facts really piss us off. We start off and we're just a policy shop. It was exceptional because it focused on some issues that others wouldn't pay attention to. The farm bill. We decided, well, why don't we try and find out who's really benefiting from these farm programs? And of course it showed people getting subsidies in Beverly Hills, people getting subsidies in Manhattan. What was revealed by those payments fundamentally and forever changed the way that we think about American agriculture and how to fix it. I got introduced to Ken Cook at the Environmental Working Group. He had just done a big study. They looked at who was receiving subsidies. We collaborated and done a study called The Obstruction of Justice. It was life-saving for the National Black Farmers Association. We made history, man. We weren't interested in talking about the problem. We were interested in solving the problem. We collected samples of baby food from all over the country and tested them for pesticides rigorously that hadn't been tested for before. And it showed, of course, that kids were exposed to unsafe levels of all kinds of pesticides that were completely unsafe. And we changed federal law. Early on at EWG, we did a lot of reports on pesticides in water, agricultural chemicals, fertilizer. We gathered 20 million records of drinking water quality. We found 50 million people were drinking water with illegal levels of chemicals. So we published the Tap Water Database so they could find out. We wanted to make environmentalism intimate and every day. Like after we're testing food, we're like, well, you know, why don't we test people? We tested umbilical cord blood for the first time from 10 babies. We found hundreds of industrial chemicals. And really, when we told the story, it was the first time that people realized how intensely personal pollution was. The Environmental Working Group, when I was 12 years old, did a historic study, uh, first of its kind, on my mother, my grandfather, and myself on what's in our bodies. And the results were truly shocking. Your samples contained plasticizers, flame retardants, Teflon chemicals, and heavy metals. It shows why the work of Environmental Working Group is incredibly important. We began to realize, hey, we can combine our policy advocacy with this new way of directly reaching consumers. So I started reading ingredient labels, and as I saw the toxic chemicals on some of the labels, I thought, wow, do people know what's in their products? And that's when we decided to build Skin Deep. And so now, 19 years later, we get tens of millions of people a year using Skin Deep. As moms, we're always running in and out of stores trying to pick up products for our kids. One of the things you shouldn't ever have to worry about is reading a label. So we decided to have the EWG science team do it for us. What I call the verified effect is it now opened up safety to the whole world. It's hard to stand out anymore because today's consumer wants it all. They want products that they love. They want them to perform. They want them to be on trend and they sure as hell want them to be safe for their health and the environment. EWG Verified is the highest safety standard out there in the marketplace today. And it's not all on industry. Washington needs to step up as well. And earlier this year in 2023, for the first time since 1938, there was an update to this legislation. It's that desire, I think, to use the information that's right in front of all of us to make the case that we can have a better world. Happy 30th anniversary to EWG. Happy 30th anniversary, EWG. Yeah, happy 30th to EWG. Wow, 30th, I mean, that's crazy. Here's to the next 30. Happy 30th anniversary to the Environmental Working Group.